Biodiversity is a term that represents the total variety of all life on Earth. That's a big thing to sum up. Thousands of different wild habitats, millions of different species, billions of different individuals, and the trillions of different characteristics they all have. The total biodiversity of our planet is immense, which is a good thing, because the more biodiversity, the more secure all life on Earth is, including ourselves. Only when life is at its most varied, vigorous, biodiverse, can we hope to thrive. We may not know it, but we need towering forests across one third of the land surface to lock away carbon and keep the climate stable. We need millions of pollinators and billions of soil organisms and megatons of plankton to keep the food we eat in supply. We need strange plants deep in jungles to create our medicines and coral reefs and mangrove swamps to protect the coasts we depend upon. Our planet's biodiversity provides all the things we need for free. But it will only do so if there's lots of it. And at the moment, it's under attack. In the last 50 years, our activities have dramatically reduced biodiversity across the globe. We've snuffed out habitats, reduced populations of wild animals by 60% and even driven whole species extinct. The number of lions in Africa has dropped by 65%. The number of individual flying insects in Europe has dropped by 75%. The number of bluefin tuna in the Pacific has dropped by 95%. Biodiversity is dropping everywhere and fast. This is catastrophic for nature and therefore ourselves. We talk about climate change a lot, but biodiversity loss is as important an issue. How do we stop this loss of life? How do we ensure that biodiversity, our planet's vital statistic, begins to increase again? In fact, we already know exactly what to do. 